account number 5300-752-184 at the Susquehanna Patriot Bank in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. It is the same account that was used in 2007 to pay Mr. Duffwell personally on his own instructions for a quantity of fertilizer supplied to the Roosevelt administration. Mr. Skerritt knows that Logistical Supply Solutions is not a registered company. We've told him that and he has been unable to find anything otherwise. Last week, his chief spokesman, Tony Astafan, was busy back and forth on the phone with a gentleman by the name of Mo Green, James Mo Green, who is supposed to have been the nephew of Andrew Duckwell. And all of a sudden, it was the, poor, the responsibility of this poor Mo Green to fight for Tony Astafan and Roosevelt Skerritt in corporation documents for logistical supplies and solutions. Mr. Duckwell can't send it to them because it doesn't exist. So they're scrambling. They're scrambling. They're scrambling for these corporation documents. And when Mr. Astafan failed to get them, it is alleged that he backed out of the defense of the Prime Minister in these matters because he was hearing some untruthfulness coming from certain quarters of the city council, etc., etc. I understand the mayor was um, present, was on hand yesterday for the delivery of the Prime Minister's address and was very happy with uh, what he heard. The question before us this morning, Matt, is whether the nation state of Dominica, comprising, we hope, a majority of honest, upright men and women, are prepared to accept every piece of trickery and deception that comes from Roosevelt Skerritt. The land matter was easy a mistake, so the additional amount of money was paid into the treasury, and it is expected that that is where that matter will die. This matter carries the stamp and approval of Mr. Skerritt, but it's somebody else's fault. He's the custodian of the public purse, he's the prime minister, but it is somebody else's fault. And he reads in detail correspondence from the public officers. But he doesn't tell us that he has direct responsibility for the contingency fund. And he doesn't tell us what procedure he used to get approval or to sign off on the request for money to be paid from the contingency fund. And where's the financial secretary in all of this? We hear now of new procurement arrangements like we never knew about tendering, like we never knew about requesting competitive bids or quotes from different suppliers to see whether we, we had a price that made sense. We took all this money from the public purse. A year went by, nothing happened. Mr. Skerritt stood up defiantly in Parliament, ignored questions posed about this looting of the Treasury, and is now shedding crocodile tears, coming now at this point to tell us that they have arranged for refund. So we have a new standard for the law in Dominica. When people steal, and they're caught stealing, they can say, let me give you back what I stole from you, or let me give you back some of what I stole from you, and let's just kill it. Are we going to hear an address to the nation today that disbands the police force, and just completely dismantles the system and the rule of law in Dominica? Or are we going to continue with this disgraceful double standard where for the same crime of theft, for the same misdemeanor of fraud, different people are treated differently? There's no doubt in my mind that this transaction where the state paid out the money on the 9th of May 2008 on the pretense that it was for garbage business in the city of Roseau was in fact a massive fraud on the people of Dominica and a systematic attempt to loot the treasury of the Commonwealth of Dominica. Those questions remain on the public record and they're not going to go away. Mr. Lennon Clinton, thank you.